Pisces, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. Some ground rules before we get started. Yours and theirs is a reading type that involves yourself and someone else. So do keep in mind, it does not have to be about a spouse, significant other, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation. It's whoever fits the bill as I'm describing the dynamic. So it could be family member, friend, co-worker. It's up to you. So take what resonates, leave what does not, reverse those energies as you see fit. More so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. But yes. Yes, of course. It can be about a romantic partner, okay? Or a romantic person of interest. You got it. What's going on, please? Show me Pisces in the person. Once more, happy birthday to you. What's going on, please? What's going on, please, for Pisces? Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces. Show me Pisces. What's going on? Show me Pisces in the person. Show me Pisces in the person. There we go. We're going to start with your side of the board, but as I just said in the intro, reverse those energies as you see fit. What's going on, please? Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Oh, aren't you gorgeous? You just look so comfortable. You look really comfortable. You look grounded. You look like you got your priorities together. You know, you're saying, I know how to take care of me and mine. Thank you very much. You are showing me strong household comfort, comfort zone energy. This is who I am. This is what I do. It's actually active. It's current. It's present, present, present. The whole thing throughout is very present oriented. Um, beautiful. Knights of Swords. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Knight of Swords, Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles. We have some heavy earth here today. You could have some heavy earth in your chart. Could be connecting to earth. That's not the point. Uh, somebody says, you know, I'm taking action towards you. I got you talking to somebody. I got somebody taking action towards you. At least it's coming from the heart. You look comfortable. You look relaxed. You look poised. Like business is good. They're like business is also good. <laughs> so I don't know if this is a work partner or some of you just have a lot of common things or commonalities, I should say. Um, but yeah, I don't know what they have to say, but you two are talking, taking action, taking care of business overall. Okay. I'm sure it runs deeper than that. These things typically do. Three of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, the Knight of Wands, Three of Cups. Yeah, sorry to say, I had a sneaking suspicion because it doesn't look too heavy. It's like, say, I'm a practical person. I, I enjoy the finer things in life. I like to nurture and take care of myself. And it's looking like you're connected to an, uh, someone of similar energy. Okay. And the indication here of uh, Ten of Swords and Three of Pentacles. So there was some disruption here in the efforts to cooperate between you and this person. Um, it wasn't the easiest of things. Uh, I don't see it necessarily as being an ending. It could be, you know... A temporary interim of, of uncomfortableness between yourself and someone else. But the idea of uh, workability here, Three of Pentacles, stopped at some point due to difficulties. Could be technical difficulties. I don't know. This could still be a work situation. Or like I said, you two are very, very practical and alike in many ways. Uh, but Knight to Wands, someone showing enthusiasm. Your overall is Three of Cups. You're in a space where it doesn't obligate you to reconnect with anyone, including this person. It could just be a general sense of opening up from a social space of I feel good about connecting, hanging out, having good times, good laughs. It could be specific with this person. I don't know. You seem so comfortable and at ease. You know, you're, you got your balances on point, your home structures on point. You're taking care of yourself. You look good. You look comfortable. You know, uh, so, yeah, I just see you opening up in the way that says it feels good to me. You know, I'm cool, I'm relaxed. But yeah, there's some energy coming towards you that suggests enthusiasm, energy. It's interesting, let's start breaking it down. It doesn't look too complicated today. But, well, I say that. <laughs> I say that, you know. Oh my gosh, yeah. Three cups, show me that three cups, please. Show me that three cups, show me that three cups, show me that three cups. Since that Knight of Swords represents communication as well as action, and you have the Eight of Wands as well, yeah, there's some conversation happening between these two folks. Someone seems to be taking action from the heart, Page of Cups. But other than that, you tell me what's going on. Show me that Three of Cups, show me that Three of Cups, show me that Three of Cups, please, Four. Pisces, show me that Three of Cups, please, Four. Pisces. I had to let my hair down because the humidity is so freaking high. Ugh, and now it's just, it's all in my eyes. It, 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 I hate it because the humidity just makes everything cling, but it won't stay in place. It's a contradiction, Pisces. It's a contradiction. All right, let's see that three cups. 
Two of Swords, the Tower. Oh, yes, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. 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 You've recently started showing some activity in terms of this is will, what I will participate in and these are the other things I will not participate in. Um, you're saying in terms of activity and social engagement, you're very selective. You don't just go connecting with folks for the sake of it. There's something to do with the, the idea here is if it doesn't make sense to me, I just won't participate. <laughs> you're saying that you maintain social circles and friendships that have steady growth attached to them, okay? Nothing that's confusing or emotionally conflicting. Okay, that's it. So this is something that you are overall operating by, kind of like a particular anthem or a particular theme. It doesn't seem to be targeted at any one person. It's just this perspective that you're currently experiencing. And this is something that you've been operating by for a while now, and it seems to be pretty good for you, right? It's, but I will not connect with anything that causes me conflict. It has to make sense, or I'm very familiar with it. You're saying you enjoy inner circles, okay? It's kind of like if you had friends, it's by referral only. <laughs> that kind of thing. Only very few are allowed to enter your circle. And that makes sense. Um, I think a lot of people experience that from time to time. And I understand that. I'm not what you call a social butterfly. I don't just connect to people just to acquire them or have names and numbers in my pocket. It's like... Mm, uh, I have to have some sort of meaning attached to you. Otherwise, I'm just, it, it, to me, it doesn't make sense. But then again, I'm not a social butterfly. And the Pisces I'm looking at says you tend to be very selective with who you connect with. But what's interesting here is the Two of Swords, a tower. It's not a major tower, but it's kind of like I don't connect with anything that confuses me. And like I said, that tower suggests this is based on the premise of having done your homework about that decision. Okay. So it's very specific. It's very specific. And it's a simple statement, too. So that tower is... That's being acted upon in terms of a final thought. Okay? Okay. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Let's jump on over to your line. Let's see that Queen of Pentacles. So that's going to come back to play at some point. <laughs> Connecting socially from the heart, you name it, be it romantic or friendship regardless it needs to serve a purpose it's just like i don't connect just for the sake of it what a waste of time something like that and i understand not everybody feels the same way but i i do understand that perspective i do it's not grounded or practical <clears throat> it just isn't it really isn't i i don't know how people have time to socially wander around like that to me it sounds absolutely exhausting <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's how, that's how some people are honey some people are natural window shoppers but at the social level there's like oh who's this oh who's this Ooh, who? it, uh, that just sounds exhausting to me i can't you know and if you're as practical and grounded and things need to serve a purpose as i think you are that would make sense right you want to save the best of your social energies for the people who matter in your inner circles all right let's see that queen of pentacles but there's a story in there there's a reason why you have that developed thought Okay, it's very interesting. Not all towers are loud. Some are in place for a reason. The Hermit, Six of Wands, that's what I'm saying. You know, the Four of Cups. So, yeah, uh, you're showing me that, okay, I got it. That makes sense to me. I get it. You're doing a beautiful job of recovering from something that's disappointing, and it's it's been there like a, a low hum in the background for a while, which means you've done a heck of a job, okay, in terms of you feeling better about you, literally the Hermit and the Six of Wands. Uh, they've been doing a heck of a job of combating that Four of Cups, which is low-level sadness, disappointment, depression, uh, just kind of depending on context and how long it's been with you. You know, you're either starting to come out of it or you stay there and indulge in it. We don't want that to happen, okay? Four cups is normal and natural. We all feel it from time to time. The point is, it's not to stay there. And you're saying, I have been doing a heck of a job as the hermit in Six of Wands and raising my own sense of confidence and security. I feel good about me. I don't have anything to prove to anybody, okay? So that would explain then if you really do value your time the way I think you do, the way it's looking like to me, it would make sense why you have a strict inner circle only or <laughs> friendship by referral only you know i heard that you know from my friend that you're pretty darn cool you know this that and the other but other than that you're not looking for open invitation for emotional connectivity you're showing me selection process my time is valuable and uh here's why you just it's like uh i need to spend more quality time with me 
I need to feel good about me. I need to have a steady hand and endeavor in my personal affairs. And that includes my world as I have carved it out. Okay, let's keep going. And this is a conscious decision. I think you're just choosing to spend less time in areas that don't matter. And put more of that into you. And as you have done so, whatever your recovery process is from that Four of Cups, you feel really good about you. Based on experience, wisdom, raising your confidence. Feeling secure with yourself. Let's see that Eight of Wands. Let's see that Eight of Wands. Yeah, I get it. When you're doing well and you're recovering and you want to keep calm, quiet, and peace, you're not going to be going out all the time. You don't need to. What's the incentive? You know? I'm not saying that you stay home all day. What I'm saying is, is that you're selective. No unnecessary draining. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Seven of Swords. Judgment. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. 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 We got some communication here. You can choose to avoid it. Because <laughs> going back to your opening, okay, and about no unnecessary frivolous social connectivity, etc. They need to be part of my inner circle. It needs to contribute to me, and it can't be too time-consuming because I value my own time. Okay, so you're showing me healthy boundaries of the self and how you self-regulate. Beautiful stuff. So they're just like FYI, Pisces, FYI, FYI, FYI. So there will be some communication coming in soon, and you have a couple choices. You can ignore it. <laughs> I don't know why this is making me laugh, but it is. I'm sorry I'm not laughing at you. It's my particular process. Things hit me in a certain way, and it's, it's a conduit for me in terms of confirmation about the flow of the energy. It's, um, it's almost like I'm experiencing it with you, so it, it hits different. Okay. So you can, you can avoid it. Totes, totes. You can totally ignore that. Or eight of pinnacles. You can work through it. Mm. It is your choice. It is under judgment. It looks like a non-pressured decision, but they're saying it has to do with like a spiritual choice here in terms of lessons. Okay. Remember your opening. Okay. Um, you're going to have the choice here to work with it or ignore it. I guess that kind of depends on who that communication is coming from and what do they want, right? Let's talk about it. <laughs> so, um, that's interesting. You got a nice little heads up there. Seven of Swords is active avoidance over that communication. In other words, you can literally choose to not respond. It's up to you. The other side of that decision, Eight of Pentacles, is to put real work into something or a situation or person. So let's keep moving that Six of Pentacles, which you've already showed me you're more than capable of doing these things. Self-regulation, self-maintenance, uh, maintaining your own particular corner of the world and being very comfortable with your responsibilities and your contracts. Six of Pentacles in this respect is not about your wealth bracket. It's about your contracts that you maintain every day. Okay, people get that confused with the Eight of Pentacles saying, but that seems to get more money. It's not about that. The Six of Pentacles represents your everyday contracts. You could be making a lot more, all right? It has nothing to do with that. It's, I'm good where I'm at. I have this going on, I have this going on, and I fulfill them all. So you seem to be extremely comfortable. It's not a competition thing. It's not a profit thing. I am curious, though about what you're going to do. You can either bounce with this and incorporate it as a contract that you work with, speak with it, or not. Aye. Ten of Swords, Page of Cups, Page of Cups from them, King of Cups, Ten of Swords. Well, yeah, somebody's heart's on the line um, in a big way, and it says it hurts, Ten of Swords. I'm going to go ahead and tie it back to this person. We'll go ahead and take a look at what they want. Um... King of Cups, I am interpreting that as you. You seem to be responding to a page that looks very vulnerable. Okay. Um, possibly some pain in there. You can balance it with this person, or try to, or not. I don't know if this person needs help as an assistance in their work world, and that's why they're calling you, like Pisces to the rescue, or if this lends more to the personal side of things. I told you, you two have those things in common, appreciation for the practicals. How you live life, okay, responsibilities, boundaries, a sense of purpose, drive. This is this is my P 
piece of the world right here. Okay. You both have that in common. <clears throat> it's very typical or standard for that earthy and energy. What I give in time, energy, and effort represents in some way our feelings. So that's why I'm having a hard time for you as Pisces, as a water sign, trying to figure out is this something to do with work, feelings, or perhaps uh, somewhere between the two. But your response is King of Cups. You're trying to honor this person's page who says that uh, they're hurt, Ten of Swords. And that there's an opportunity here to balance this. <clears throat> so you need to figure out if that's the Six of Pentacles that you can step into that particular contract and balance with them. Because it does seem to involve a response from you that immediately puts you into a King of Cups. What's going on? What's going on? Your heart space went from a very comfortable reliable, steadfast Queen of Pentacles to full-on King of Cups. Okay, what's going on? Like that. <clears throat> so you had the choice, and you, you're making it. You can, like I said, you can dodge it, don't respond, or you can open up towards it and try to work through it. It's looking like you did make a choice, okay? Uh, I honor your choice. All we can do is make the best decisions as possible. Just do keep in mind your opening about... Um, you asserted that particular slogan. No unnecessary connectivity. Unless it's someone I know, Seven of Pentacles, we have steady growth or connection, okay? But if it's confusing, oh, the wind's pushing hard. <clears throat> but if it's confusing or it has no clear objective path, if it's not celebratory or supportive, I don't want it in my life. Closed circuit, like I said, and again, I don't... <clears throat> I don't argue with that. I'm very much like that, too. <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's not about what someone has to offer. It's just, you know, it, it, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's kind of like uh, I value the preciousness of few as opposed to, say, the surface experience of several. Does that make sense? I'm like that, and I think that's what I'm looking at for you, except that's a recently adopted kind of mentality, all right? Anyway, I just want to make it a little more sense to you, just in case you're like, what is she talking about? Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen to that person's Knight of Swords. Some of that person's Knight of Swords, please. Let's see that Knight of Swords. You, it provoked within you a very strong emotional reaction that is the King of Cups that, that's saying, I care about you, what happened, what's going on, how can I help? Um, the King and Queen of Cups have a very strong reaction when someone they know or care about is hurt or upset. So I see you choosing, therefore, to respond to this and balance with it. Something about that page that got delivered was a big indication to respond to you. Just a reminder, all tarot is at will, free will. Tarot doesn't dictate anything. You do. Sarah is the proof of choice, not the absence of it. You can make a completely different decision, okay? Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords, the Nine of Wands, okay. Well, they got a soft spot in them too. How funny. You showed me the both of you. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Interesting. Earthy water mix, the both of you. Mm-hmm. How interesting. Knight of Swords is taking action towards communication. Um, the Ace of Swords, Nine of Wands, somebody has come to, this is an internal insight, okay? This person has come to the conclusion that they have to make a choice to take action and speak from the heart and act from the heart, um, which is something up until this point they have done a heck of a job of resisting, resisting the truth. And here's the truth. It's undisputed. Ace of Swords, right? Swords, yeah, it cuts all that nonsense away. Uh, but you, that doesn't mean you don't put up a fight <laughs> with the Nine of Wands. I mean, you can put, honey, I've seen, this is actually a very common combination, Nine of Wands and the Tower. In case you didn't know this, the Tarot, this is extremely common. There's this, I don't want to deal with the illusions, the delusions. I'm going to resist that. And people can exhaust themselves hardcore resisting that. Uh, just like you can hardcore resist a truth that's extremely apparent, but until you're ready to accept the truth, you won't. So this person, from a place in their heart, is now taking action from it. Once we stop uh, resisting the truth, I don't know if it's pride, I don't know if it's this kind of stubborn will and insistence, but um, 
when we stop doing that, we know that we need to act and speak from the heart because they have one. They have one just like you have one. Okay. All right. Let's see that page of cups. Ah, the lovers, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and there's the proposition to work through it. Okay. Okay. So, sorry. I'm, there's, I know I've got a little piece of hair or something right around my eyelash, and it's just it's, it's stuck there. Pisces is just stuck, and it doesn't want to move. God dang it. Anyway, I am not OCD. I have standards. And, <laughs> and for those of you who have OCD, I hope you are well. I know it's not easy. Okay. All right. Three of Pentacles, the lovers, the Eight of Pentacles. Like I said, Eight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Do you want to harken back and rewind it where I said, Pisces, is this a workable thing, a feelings thing, or somewhere in between the two? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is that. I'm not trying to put on a frowny face. Um, I understand this person had to do a heck of a job and working stop working against their truth about how they would like to take action or what they would like to speak from the heart. And when you resist the truth, you resist yourself. I'm glad that they stopped doing that. I bet that was a hell of a thing that they wrestled with for some time. Um, it's not comfortable, but when we stop denying the truth, things get like infinite times easier. It does. As we see, there's that page of cups. The only reason I clarified it today is because it was showing up over here where it provoked or evoked, I should say, uh, your king of cups. Your heart went out almost immediately towards this in response to what looks like help, assistance, I'm in pain or I'm hurt. And it arrives in the form of a little guy, page of cups, and um, otherwise I would have dismissed it. So when I tell you this person was fighting the truth of expression in the heart space, that's what it means. Uh, so I'm actually glad I took a second glance at that page of cups here because there's a lot in it uh they're packing a lot into that heart space and it's either coming out in the form of apology um some sort an emotional plea of some sort like an apology uh then thinking about you that's an emotional page um i know it's been a minute but i've been feeling like this it's something like that it'll be small but what's behind it is a heck of a punch uh that three of pentacles the lovers and the eight of pentacles, the offer to work through something. Now, it's not going to come out in that one big breath of, let's connect to try to work through it right there on that page. It's going to start with a very small thing. Okay, then the idea, I think, the motivation behind this person is that it will grow into a workable state or workable function between you two. Uh, it looks authentic. It doesn't look malicious. Um, I just see that what's in that page is pain. Okay as well as the hope for workability uh, with you and them. Um, now, guys, I called it. You two have such a strong appreciation for practical function. So the lovers is here. And if you've been around my channel long enough, if you heard me long enough, you're familiar with my work, it's never a good thing to put the lovers in a three of pentacles box. And that's usually what the first thing people do. Uh, it's a really strong connection, but for one reason or another, we can't engage in it like that. So we're going to call each other friends. Eventually, that blows up in some way because the lovers is so much bigger than the little box we try to put it in that we would call friendship. It typically works for neither person at some point. Um, because of what's felt is so much bigger than the label we're trying to give it. This kind of, the proposition, motivation is a little bit higher than friendship, eight of pentacles. So I'm seeing that three of pentacles ten is not as friendship, um, but an ask, a solid ask for cooperation for one reason or another. And it could literally do with work or it could be from the practical point of view can we get reacquainted, find common ground again? Three of Pentacles is finding common ground to build on something. And what if I put some Eight of Pentacles into this? That's real work. And you put some Eight of Pentacles into this. Remember your decision into this. And, and maybe, I don't know, we could make this thing work, make it function, hardwire it, rewire it, whatever you want to say. But can we try? It's actually incredibly sweet, but they had to fight themselves in the heart space and the knowledge of the truth in order to work themselves up to move forward. But I have to admit, it's um, 
while it took a minute for this person to get there and to put this forward, it's again coming from a place of pain. Okay. Uh, for some reason, that page of cups hits you hard because your immediate reaction is king of cups. Uh, you know, I, I see you feeling like this towards this, like I would say, like a wounded animal. I can't help it. I have to do something. <laughs> and that's, that's what it's like to be a water sign when someone asks for help. We're like, what? What is it? What can I do? That's just how we are. Um, and maybe that's one of the reasons why you had that little opening here. You only stick to the people that matter in your life because you know you have a high response rate like that. You can't help but uh, step up or say, how can I help? And if you're anything like that, you tend to keep your circle small because you just can't give that level of emotional investment to everyone you meet. I mean, again, that's one of the reasons why I'm not a social butterfly and I don't, because I can't, I don't know how to do that. It's like you either mean something to me and you get a genuine, authentic help reaction like that, or you don't. That's why I keep your circle small. I think that's how you are too. And that could be where your four of cups is coming from, by the way, is that perhaps your emotional circle got way too big and you had to focus on those who mattered, including yourself. Okay, so this person matters to you because your response was, okay, I'm here. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. What's, what's going on? It's, it's really interesting. It's, it seems like a very simple story, and it happens very much in the present. I'm very curious about the Eight of Wands when it comes through. I'm seeing lots of eights here today. I'm seeing lots of eights here today. That doesn't necessarily mean August, guys. I'm just seeing eights, lots of eights. The eighth of what month? I don't know. Could be important. I'm not doing time checks today, but even I'm like, that's that's consistent. <laughs> There's that ten of swords. God, it's consistent. You two are so very consistent. You're very much alike. The fool, the empress. There it is. There it is. That's why they're doing this. This person aside, again, as an individual, like how they opened up and how I see them closing off, I'm seeing motivation. Ten of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, very consistent. You two are very much alike. Um, they said, despite whatever the Ten of Swords there was that is born between you two, or perhaps they were affected by and they want your help with, regardless, they see themselves as taking a chance on opening up towards you. So either this Ten of Swords that's between you two is because it's between you two, or they have gone through some sort of Ten of Swords and they want your help through it. Make sense? Because again, your immediate reaction is, how can I help? Or emotional reassurance is like that for you. But for some reason they're saying, despite this pain, I'm opening or I'm choosing to open up towards you, Pisces. You're the empress and I see that in you. You could tell me what to do or you can give me good advice or I'm trying to fix this between us because you're so important to me. You see what I'm saying? Either way, they're coming to you with this. <laughs> Because it's either about you or they want your help. They seem to have a very strong regard for your opinion. Um, they do see you as the empress that they're having to take a risk in opening up towards. So this person has a hard time with vulnerability. You know. I am leaning more towards this being a personal issue between the two of you. As opposed to something happened to them and they want you to help. I just don't... That could be it, guys. I just don't think that's it. And I'll tell you why this segment right here was very personal. Despite its workability, okay, it's personal. They have a strong connection to you. Okay, let's get on over here to that Three of Pentacles. There it is, the Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something about your, your friendship your connectivity here that experienced exposure in a way that was negative, you both experienced it. So even though the Ten of Swords is here, it's not a permanent ending. It usually means ending is imminent if this continues or the pain continues. Okay. But it's, if it's also unresolved, as this clearly is, there's a good chance that it's not over. Pain usually wants to heal itself or find a way to heal itself and resolve itself. And if it's not, it turns into a lingering Five of Cups thing and an Echoes thing, and we don't want that. Let's see that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Show me that Three of Pentacles, please. Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, King of Wands, you know. Somebody, once upon a time, the both of you, 
used to connect fairly easily. Maybe not frequently, but easily. Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups, that's very easy connectivity that you could have with anybody and it feels good. Okay? I think another reason why <laughs> you chose to be exclusive with your friendships. In the Five of Pentacles, there was breakage here. There was always breakage here. Um, there's always the promise of something more, but it would never come through. So whenever it is you were connecting with this person, it was never like a finalized connection. It never connected fully. It's like a, two wires that were trying to exist at the same time, but they couldn't figure out how to wrap together uh, to complete the circuit. See what I'm saying? It's The connectivity was faulty, but one person here was distinctly marked with King of Wands having a lot of passion towards this, feeling very strongly about this connection, but failing to engage it from that point of view. Um, a lot of passion, a lot of passion, but um, it wouldn't complete. The circuit wouldn't complete. The connectivity is here between two, but one person was like, uh, you know... You know what it's like? It reminds me of those uh, those villains in the movies where it's drama and the villain sets the bomb to explode at a certain time. It, it, this, it, I'm not saying this person's a villain, but they would set the, the bomb, the passion, if you will. They would set it to go off and then last second they'd be like, nope, change my mind. And then they would wipe the data so it wouldn't go off. It's kind of like that. It was there. The potential of it was always there, but it was never completed. It never accelerated. It remained a broken, kind of inconsistent connectivity with this person. And th th there's a lack of consistency here. Five pentacles, three and three, absolutely. That's inconsistent connectivity. It connects a little bit, but not enough to complete the circuit. Not enough to feel good about it or confident about it. It's like somebody had a lot of passion and they didn't know how to address it or bring it forward to kind of drive the thing further or expand it or to define it better. Make sense? Okay, I'm sure you both had passion, I just the lovers, I mean, but one person kind of felt helpless with all their passion, sitting there and connecting with Pisces or whomever, and or you them, and like, I've, <laughs> I'd like to set the bomb to explode, but um, maybe another day, and they dismantled the bomb. See what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. Ten of Swords, some of that Ten of Swords, some of that Ten of Swords. Four of Pentacles, the Emperor, Six of Pentacles, and so uh, here we have the pain. We've held on to the pain specifically. Four of Pentacles or the Ten of Swords over what looked like at the outset, I'm sure, an ending. Here's the Emperor contemplating that Six of Pentacles. Uh, they seem to appreciate the practical nature in you um, and the idea of connecting and trying to do a Six of Pentacles with each other. One person feels their energy, feel like, yes, this is the direction, but there is fear and trepidation and hesitation for that same reason. So there is part confidence in connecting to this again and trying to rebalance the contract between you two, whatever that is. And then uh, holding on to the pain also meant holding us back simultaneously. So someone's been wrestling with themselves. Okay. Uh, you both felt the Ten of Swords. You both probably held on a little bit in your own way. And you both remember what it's like to balance. But one person feels that mix of emotions at the same time. I feel I could balance with this. I think about it a lot, but for that same reason, I'm going to pull back. Okay. All right. So that's been in a holding pattern for a hot minute. All right. Um, there's no disrespect. It's just people take the time they need to process things, you know. Now that Knight of Wands is going to be a lot more, lot more active than, say, an emperor who's not quite sure. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at that Knight of Wands. Show me that Knight of Wands. The Empress, the Age of Swords, and Judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, they perceive you as the judgment. I'm seeing this as their reflection towards you. They don't know, understandably, as they reflect upon you as the Empress. They don't know what you'll choose. But they're kind of like, I also need to find out. I I feel like I have direction here. Um. Yeah, okay. It's kind of like saying I have unfinished business. 
I don't know what Pisces or whoever's reaction at this point because you two are so alike. It's I'm sure the energy exchange and interchange is real rapid and fluid between you two. Uh, you seem to be very... Somebody here is very comfortable with their King of Cups and also Second Nature, Queen of Pentacles. Someone here is very comfortable with their King of Pentacles and Second Nature is Queen of Cups. Um, so when I tell you the interchange is real, uh, yeah. Now what's interesting though is that this person clearly marked you as the Empress. Okay which means I'm assuming then that this is the emperor. Those two are always looking for each other. They're equals, not their lessers. But we have to know this in order to be empowered, in order to make these decisions for ourselves. So they are choosing empowerment, and they're wondering from your empowered self, what are you going to choose? They say, or reflecting upon you, that it is your choice, and that's how spirit opened up with as well. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Very distinct that was. They also even admit from their energetic point of view that, yes, while they are rising towards you, ultimately they don't know what you're going to choose and that they are saying it is your choice, but they can't be faulted for not trying. And now I'm not saying that as a challenge. I'm saying that is that they did a lot of work to arrive to the decision that they did, and they're dropping something towards you that suggests vulnerability over a very important subject. So they're choosing empowerment. I, I, they got done with the back and forth, I think. You know? The pain can stand between us or I can step up to it and try to do something about it. Can't say I didn't try. But more than the bravado behind that is the emotional vulnerability that kicks it off. And that's actually what counts in my book right here. Somebody can have that straight poker face all day and it means absolutely nothing to me. What's behind that? Where's the real you? Where's the real essence? If you're just going to stay behind your mask, then you can go ahead and stay there indefinitely. I got other things to do other than try to get you and coax you to open up about stuff you should be prepared to speak of on your own accord. You're a big boy. You're a big girl. Speak for yourself. You know, because I am that person. I will not allow you to waste my time. If you don't have something to say, I'm not going to try to pull it out of you. To me, this is anti-empowerment. Now, you think that would be in contradiction to my background, right? Counseling, that kind of thing. Those people are the ones who need the help to build that bridge. But if we're a grown adult and you're operating in the world, and you're making decisions for yourself. You ought to know when it's time to get out of that tough exterior, crack open your heart space, and make an admission. Again, you're a big boy, big girl, figure it out. Um, so I respect them in that respect. <laughs> in that respect, I respect them. Because there's something about that that they figured out. Something clicked, fell, fell into place. But they are also defaulting back to you. It's your choice how you respond, and so it is. I, I already saw you make up your heart a long time ago. <laughs> but I, I do like how they defer back to you. Can we generally rework through this and, okay, maybe break out of that, that, that false three of pentacles, three cups, and expand into something much more solid, three of pentacles, eight of pentacles with the lovers, what if we recognize this for what it is? Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, went over 40. Wasn't expecting that. But yours was pretty darn good. Scared. Yeah, I saw that. The back and forth and the fear. The Ten of Swords has been the big fear here. And then also the resisting of the truth about how our heart would really like to feel and express itself. And there's the concept of peace. Okay. Anything else here, please? I know. As we said, divine counterparts. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. I am for the empress, that kind of thing. We are divine counterparts here. I slap some lovers on top of that, for sure. Okay. I think that about covers it, guys. Um, take it from there. Take it from there. You two seem to be able to harmonize well when you're in each other's proximity. I don't think the balancing was ever an issue. Finances and career. Yeah, for some of you, there is working constructs in here. Literally working constructs. Um, something here that perhaps you are also good counsel in that respect. But no, there's the playfulness. Finances and career, why do I keep coming back? You two have crossed paths and work before, or you know how to work, literally work together. Yeah, playfulness, you know, playfulness, take it light, take it easily. Be light and playful at first, you know. Let that playful side come out a little bit, the both of you, so you can relax. 
Okay. I'll do hope this helps you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.